11 oldest living creatures. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number 10. Koi. Well known to inhabit decorative ponds, koi are a domesticated and ornamental variety of the common carp. Certain varieties of koi are thought to live between 100 to 200 years. A famous red koi named Hanako reportedly lived to be 225 years old. Number 9. Tuatara. If it reminds you of a dinosaur, there's a good reason. The two species of this animal are the only living members of an order that lived some 200 million years ago. The Tuatara is in fact a living fossil, and among vertebrates it has one of the longest lifespans, with some animals living up to 200 years. In 2009, Henry, a Tuatara from New Zealand, became a father for the first time at the tender age of 111, and appropriately, he sired 11 offspring and he's still going strong today at 117 years young. Number eight, bowhead whale. They live in Arctic and subarctic waters and can reach lengths up to 59 feet and weigh up to 110 tons. Also known as the Arctic whale, this creature is known to be the longest living mammal on earth living for over two centuries. Bowhead whales have been found with ivory spear tips embedded in their flesh that date from 200 years ago when whalers tried to kill them. The oldest known bowhead whale was believed to have been 211 years old at least. Number seven, tortoise. Tortoises are known for their longevity, but did you know the oldest tortoise lived to the ripe old age of 250 years? Well, there is some controversy about that, but the story goes that Adweda was captured in the Seychelles Islands in the 1700s and was donated to the Alipur Zoo in India in 1875 and lived there, outliving his keepers, until 2006. While Adweda's shell was reportedly carbon dated, there's still some dispute as to whether the creature's age has ever been officially confirmed. Meanwhile, the oldest living land animal today is also a tortoise, this one named Jonathan, aged 184 and living on the island of St. Helena at the governor's residence. Number six, Greenland shark. They're also known as the gray shark or the sleeper shark, but they're not as well known as the great white, although the Greenland rivals their size at over 20 feet long and weighing nearly 2,500 pounds. One reason for the animal's anonymity is the habitat. Native to North Atlantic waters, they prefer colder temperatures and tend to swim as deep as 2,200 meters. And they're thought to have long lifespans, possibly over 200 years. That number was arrived at when a shark was caught and tagged near Greenland in 1936. When it was recaptured in 1952, researchers found it had grown six centimeters longer. Following that formula, a mature seven meter shark would be more than 200 years old. Number five, ocean quahog. Much like the age of a tree can be deduced from its rings, these clams have dark concentric rings or banding on the shells that researchers interpret as annual marks. Judging from those rings, some specimens have been estimated at over 400 years old. In one notorious case from 2006, an ocean quahog clam nicknamed Ming was taken off the coast of Iceland. When its annual marks or growth rings were counted, the clam's age was calculated at 405. When scientists opened the shell to study the animal's insides, though, they effectively killed the clam. Later, however, analysis including carbon-14 dating proved the clam was actually 507 years old, making it the oldest individual animal whose age could be verified. It also earned Ming a Guinness record for oldest mollusk. And Ming, by the way, was named for the Chinese dynasty that was in power around the time it was born. Number four. Teritopes nutricula jellyfish. This animal might have actually found the fountain of youth. Endemic to the Caribbean Sea and the Mediterranean, it has the ability to cycle from mature adult stage to primordial birth stage and back again, seemingly able to repeat the process endlessly. It's the only species in the world capable of this sort of transformation. At this point, researchers are unsure if the creature's lifespan has any natural limit. So maybe that's why the creature is also known as the immortal jellyfish. Number three, 
Mata Mata Turtle. In Spanish, the name Mata Mata translates to kill kill, and they're found in the Amazon and Orinoco basins in South America. They're identified by their unique neck, which is actually longer than its vertebra. That long neck functions as a natural snorkel, allowing the animal to keep its nose above water while staying on the bottom of a stream. They can also stretch the neck and open the mouth wide enough to create a vacuum, enabling them to swallow fish whole, since the jaws aren't able to chew food. As adults, they're known to measure around 18 inches and weigh up to 33 pounds, and they are readily available in the exotic pet trade. But if you want one, keep a few things in mind. They have a steep price tag, and they're known to live between 40 to 75 years. If you really pamper them, though, they might make it to past 100. Number two, sea sponge. In 2016, a massive sea sponge was found off the Hawaiian coast that measured 3.5 meters long, one and a half meters wide, and two meters high, residing over 2,000 meters below the surface. That size gives it claim to be the world's largest sponge and possibly the oldest living animal in the world. You can see the creature in these pictures from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The images were captured by two remote operated vehicles. The research team that made the the discovery hasn't been able to determine an exact age for the sponge. However, researcher David Wagner said he's encountered other huge coral species at these depths that can live to be a few thousand years old, with the oldest being 4,500 years old. Number one. Salamanders. The ancient cave systems of Slovenia were the site of a rare event in the animal kingdom, the hatching of a baby dragon. Now, before you get visions of Game of Thrones, we should explain that this dragon is really a creature called an ohm, a rare cave salamander that can live to be a hundred. Also known as a proteus, the creatures are known to reproduce as infrequently as once a decade, which made the event so special for researchers. You can see an image of the so-called baby dragon in this picture. The new newborn Ulm was one of only a few of the eggs expected to hatch out of more than 60. For the past six months, it grew inside one of a clutch of eggs that was carefully nursed and protected by its mother. The earliest historical records that mention the Ulm date to the late 1600s, and people who discovered the pale creatures thought they were baby dragons that lived deep inside the earth. The animals are Europe's only cave-dwelling vertebrates, and although they're blind, the Ulm has well-developed sensory organs that enables them to hunt prey like snails, small crabs, and insects. The ancient creatures are slow-moving, grow to nearly 12 inches long, and are known to live up to a century, as mentioned. They're also known to have evolved specifically over millions of years to their subterranean environment. In addition to the Ulm hatched in June 2016, researchers think that over 20 of the remaining eggs could give birth to more baby dragons. See you next week on Throwback Thursday. <laughs>